In this video, we're going to be using First Line Shave slash Straight Gold Shave Washington and the Smart Helix Apollo Light Razor. And we're also going to explain why I already have lather on my face. Stay tuned. And all right, folks, we are back. And weird start to this video because I started recording the first portion where I talk about the soap and my camera died on me. The memory card died. So I'm just starting all over. I'm going to miss this face and sort of re-lather a little bit and I'll talk about the soap while I'm doing that. Today we're using First Line Shave slash Straight Gold Shave Washington and this is a collaboration. First Line Shave and Straight Gold Shave collaborated on the scent and the base is in the First Line Shave base and the aftershave formula is in the Straight Gold Shave formula. This comes to you for $23 for four ounces and on our cost chart that's $5.75 an ounce which is pricey but this is a strong pour. Sometimes I get a four ounce pour and I'm like, there's not four ounces in there, but this one, there is no doubt. To me, it seems like more than four ounces. It's quite heavy, so take that into consideration if you'd like. The scent on this is amazing. I'm gonna put the scent description for you on the screen right there. Um, it is very, very nice. Tobacco leaf, rum, cedar, and a lot of other things. It is punchy, it is bold, it is stout, it is excellent, I like it. This is in the first line shade base. We'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. And we had no problems whatsoever getting a very nice lather. And again, I'm going to sort of re-lather just a little bit because I had to go get another memory card and so on. And don't forget, this video is sponsored by LEAF. If you'd like 5% off at LEAF, use discount code IMCDB and you can save yourself 5% while shopping at LEAF. All right, let's get into it because we had a little curveball this morning, but that's okay. We will roll with it. Soap quality here is going to be excellent. Uh, I've used a lot of first line shave soaps and they're really, really nice. And even at this price, um, I think it's probably not a bad value because that pour is pretty heavy. So normally, you know, right now in these times, I'm not really in the market for a lot of soaps beyond $5 an ounce. But this one, I'm telling you, the scent is great. So we'll answer the question whether I would buy this with my own money because this was sent to me for evaluation by first line shave. So we will answer that question. And I'll tell you right now, based on scent, yes, I would. <laughs> Good. This scent is, to me, it's unusual and it's nice. It's punchy, it's a little bit spicy, and man, this razor is just so smooth. The shave that this razor provides might be my favorite, honestly. It's just terrific. And uh, I chose this razor today, which is the Apollo Light. I forgot to mention that. This is made in Ukraine. I want to keep the people of Ukraine in mind, and this is just fantastic. This is definitely one of the best razors in the world, sadly. I don't know if or when this will be available again because this razor was made in one of the major cities that has been shelled. And so I don't know if or when this will be available, but I love the way this shaves. And this one came with two plates, sort of a one line plate and two line, and I'm using the two line and it is just fantastic, spectacular. But the soap here, fantastic. And also part of the proceeds, I don't know what portion, but part of the proceeds of this goes to backstopper.org, which supports a uh, fallen first responders in the St. Louis area, their families. So part of this uh, project here goes to charity as well, which is very nice. I don't know what portion because it wasn't listed where the soap was, but I know, I do know um, some of this, maybe even all of the profits go to charity, I'm not sure. So if uh, Michael or Frank is watching, you can make a comment below and I'll pin it. But the soap is very good, the scent is very good. This is a very good collaboration, in my opinion. So yes, the answer is I would buy it because I know the quality is good. Um, this would be one of these treat myself sort of soaps because I, I really like the scent. It is not, you know, you know me, I'm sort of a fresh boy. I like lighter, brighter, but this one is different and it's great. It's great, it is bold. You're not gonna miss it. When you open this one, the scent strength is gonna give you a punch right in the face. <laughs> which is not a bad thing. I really, I really like it. It's really good. I also like the, the label, which is, uh, I think, uh, Washington there crossing the Delaware, which is very, very cool. So first pass, excellent as expected. And again, even though we got off to a rough start today, we are having an excellent shave. And that's the way I figured it because I pulled out the Apollo light today just to match it with the soap, thinking that I'm going to get a great shave. Of course, who am I kidding? I get a great shave every single day. It's rare to, for me to get a bad shave. In fact, I can't remember the last time I got a bad shave. But I knew today it was kind of special. This is kind of a special soap and uh, thought I'd match it with a very special razor. 
and very nice. Uh, the brush, by the way, is AP Shave Co. from their handcrafted series. And just very nice. The lather on that, very good quality, very nice. Always the case. It was a little soft out of the tub, um, but I managed to whip it up pretty nicely and we got a nice lather. This is not a soap, one of the soap bases that will sort of puff up. It's, you know, definitely um, not airy when you lather it. It's gonna go creamy pretty quick. Definitely good quality. So, very nice. Just a pleasure to use. And that scent strength is definitely, I would call this one a strongly scented soap. Um, you, you can't miss the scent, or at least I can't. All right, let's get into it. Pass number two here. And I hope your day is wonderful. And keep in mind, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I always try to link all the products that are, that are available below. So please check that out, if you please. Well, let's get going here. The blade, of course, is Nasset. And man, that just feels extremely smooth. This might be, and I'm gonna make a bold statement right here. This might be my best. There's something about this razor that just fits me perfectly. And I have a lot of great razors, which I love. And this one would be near the top of the list. Just the, somehow the way it presents the blade gives me the perfect amount of ba uh, blade feel and the perfect amount of efficiency. And uh, it, it's hard for me not to use this razor. So if I were to keep only five razors, this would be one of them without a doubt. And I know all the time people ask for top lists. Well, I've already made some at the end of last year, so you can go check those out. If you please, this one was definitely on it. It is fantastic. We'll go ahead and lather the, that side again for a quick cross pass. All right. I'm not gonna spend all day doing so because uh, I don't know what happened there with the camera, but I shot the entire opening sort of for it and then uh, it just simply stopped. And usually when the camera stops, it corrupts the data on the card. So you have to start all over. And when that's halfway through shave, it's very annoying, let me tell you. All right. Let's just hit this for another cross pass real quick. Oh man, that feels great. So the soap quality on this is absolutely fantastic. As you know, if you've used First Line Shave, the First Line Shave formula, it is phenomenal. And so yes, this would, this would be a buy. And as you know, I've been mentioning recently, I'm trying to sort of, you know, get good value um, nowadays, but I will, occasionally buy that soap to treat myself and had this not been sent to me if i'd have had a chance to smell the scent this would definitely be one i would have bought um, which brings me to a thought right now when prices are escalating samples are even more important so the artisans who offer samples i think you're offering a good service that way your customer can be more sure because right now i'm sure you don't want your customer completely missing on scents you know in this time where things are all escalating in price so providing samples now is, is a much better service to the customer. If, for those of you who do, I don't know if First Line Shave sells samples. I know he throws them in every now and then, um, but I don't know if he sells them. But I would encourage all artisans to do that, to make, make sure your customer is happy with what they're buying. Because, you know, I believe most of the artisans um, would like the customers to be happy. And uh, right now, people just probably don't have the finance to be spending you know, 20 plus dollars taking flyers, just guessing. And so if they had the opportunity for a sample, you know, they can make better decisions about how they purchase things. That's just my opinion. And I know some people don't like samples, but for me, it's a way for you to figure out whether you like the scent or not, which is key. Uh, because the scent, the scent, um, excuse me, not scent, but the soap quality on most soaps are quite good these days. So you're not gonna miss much on quality, honestly. Rarely will you get a miss on quality, but the scent you can miss on badly. And so, very nice. And, and so when people are going to buy a set or even a trifecta, if they miss on that, that kind of hurts, you know? So that's where samples really come into play here. All right, well, I tell you what, there's no miss here today. <laughs> this one is a hit. And I think it's going to be hit for many people because it's really bold, you know. Um, when I'm using this one, I have DK in mind because I know he likes bold scents and this one is bold. I think he'd love this one. This one is fantastic. Very good indeed. I'd say excellent, excellent job, Mike and uh, Frank. And Mike, of course, from 
First Line Shave and Frank from Strike Gold Shave. Tremendous collaboration. They, uh, they have a winner here for sure, I think. Oh, very nice. And this razor is just phenomenal. Man, I tell you what. I'm hoping someday in the near future that, um, you know, we'll see peace in Ukraine and, and Smart Helix will, will be able to make these razors again. But the city that they're located in was one of the first ones shelled. And uh, I don't know. I sent them an email, you know, just supporting them several weeks ago and obviously they have not responded. I mean, they're literally struggling for their lives. And so the last thing on their minds right now is, you know, responding to somebody about a razor. But um, this is a fantastic shaver in every regard. And it means a lot more to me now, even given the situation. And uh, it's really an honor to own this. Um, I tell you what, fantastic shaver, fantastic soap, fantastic shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam we rinsed off the soap and then we used our PAA alum. After using the alum, there was no sting, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles or troubles. Very nice indeed. Following the alum, we did another rinse and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. We had an excellent shave today with First Line Shave slash Strike Gold Shave Washington. Really, really excellent soap. I would call it bold and bang. It is very good. And yes, had this not been sent to me, I would buy it with my own money. I really love the scent. So I really enjoyed that today. I also enjoyed the incredible Smart Helix Apollo Light Razor. Just a terrific razor. Sadly, probably not available right now or for the foreseeable future, but it is a fantastic razor and our hearts go out to the folks of uh, Ukraine. Just just saying prayers, hoping for peace at some point in the near future. Uh, we used our AP Shape Co. Handcrafted Series brush and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug and we're gonna finish it out once again today with the old wet the face the quiet man complete with the floaties and we'll be off to the races hopefully and having a great day. And I hope wherever you are today, you start out your day with a great shave. And if you don't start it out that way, I hope you had a good one last night. <laughs> Thank you so much, folks, for joining me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.